Over the last 10 years or so, Catherine Clare has been a guest in our music classes as a songwriter, as a singer. She's had a long history with us of just being uh, an alumni, but then seeing how she's grown as a professional musician to share her songs and just share her love of music. And this year we were able to put in place our um, idea to have her write a school song with students. I think my favorite thing that I learned from Catherine was how to be patient and how to trust the process in writing a song because at first I didn't really think that the song was going to be the best, but now I really like the song and I really think it shows ASRG. The first thing that we had her do was do a Zoom call with our fifth graders to kind of get their brainstorming and um, ideas about what a school song might look like. Before we meet, I have a couple of questions I would like to ask you. And then we were fortunate enough to have her come live and work individually with our uh, classrooms. And Catherine was really great about listening deeply to what the students um, gave her and taking that and putting it back into the song that they were creating. Fire free, walking happily. The room became electric because we were also motivated to be a part of it. You know, it's because we're in the arts. We're speaking from our heart. We're speaking from things that we want to share that are that have meaning to us. And when you then add your voice and you start singing, there's a lot of magic in that. That you that's very special and very unique to the arts. And that was really present in this whole experience. been different if I haven't like contributed. That's why it makes me feel proud. Yesterday's classes wrote the words and chose these chords. You created the melody, so it's just going to keep building on itself. I think by it being student-led, it's um, better than just teachers writing it because students now know like, wow, I made this song, I'm doing this, if I'm speaking this, I should be doing this in real life and not just singing it. So I think that's a big part in what student leadership is at ASIJ. The song was like kind of um, shaped around like the campus of ASIJ and like how people like work together, um, the community, like the different cultures. Integrity, uplifting, and um, how you're not alone at ASIJ. You have other people that will help you no matter what. I really like the part when they say the power of the black and gold is guiding me. I just think it's, it really does represent ASIJ. The black and gold extends far beyond a school mascot or school colors or spirit wear. It permeates everything about our values, um, who we are as a school, who we are in this wonderful host nation of Japan. And that's the beauty of it. Where children will talk about the black and gold in a way that holds value for them and tells them about their character, their compassion, their empathy, their courage that they have as a Mustang, which expands into who they are as a person. My favorite part of the song is um, Once a Mustang, Always a Mustang, because it like, kind of shows that when someone leaves, like they're remembered, and like once you're part of this community, you'll always belong here. Once a Mustang, always a Mustang. Mustang pride can't be denied.